Universal Orlando for a Jurassic Park field day. So here at Universal Orlando, they just opened up the Jurassic Park Tribute Store in order to celebrate the grand opening of the Velocicoaster. The grand opening is June 10th. However, they have been doing tests for the past month. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they are doing tests today so we can go on the Velocicoaster. Also, we are going to hopefully meet Blue. And hopefully we will get to go on the river journey for Jurassic Park. Let's have a fun day. A roaring day. Yeah, let's do this. On our way over to the trippy store, let's talk about the new COVID policy here at Universal. So if you are fully vaccinated, you do not have to wear a mask at all. You don't have to wear it outside, you don't have to wear it indoors. It's great, everything's back to normal if you are fully vaccinated. Now, if you are not fully vaccinated, you do not have to wear a mask outside. But as soon as you go inside, you have to put a mask on. And you have to keep it on until the attraction is over and you're back outside. Okay, so I am outside the trippy store right now. And oh my goodness. Just the outside, you can tell the inside is going to be amazing. Who else grew up watching Jurassic Park? I did. It's a great movie. I really enjoy those movies. So the main entrance has a bunch of the ACE equipment. They have some employee lockers. The inside of these lockers have overalls in them. Oh, this this locker right here has a stuffed T-Rex. Let's go into the control room. There's a sign for the Velocicoaster. The inside is amazing. I love the amount of detail they put in to the store. And it's not even a store that's going to last. This is just for the summer. So we have the lockout station. So they have a bunch of locks in here. Some helmets. They also have some employee rain jackets. We got some radios and some wires. Right here is a station where you can design phone cases. <laughs> but it looks like the security system in the Jurassic Park. They have some candles. Hatrosaur Cove. Let's see, how does this smell? It kind of smells like one of those fresh air candles. Triceratops Trail. Let's see. This one has a woodsy smell to it. East Dock. This one smells like a sea breeze. And the candles are $16.95. There is this dino backpack, which is $36.95. There's also Jurassic Park socks, which are $17. I cannot believe the amount of detail that is in the store. And we haven't even gotten into the other rooms yet. So for $6, you can make a wax figure of a T-Rex. There is a Jurassic Park towel for $22 if you buy two, 
27 if you just buy one. There's this cute tank top. It says free the dinosaurs. The material is nice and light. And this is $30. So right here is a control center. And down here, remember in the first movie when they had to get into the security system of the Jurassic Park? And they kept on putting in the wrong password. The tech guy's figure came up and said, uh-uh, well, that's not the magic word. It shows that right here. And we are going to watch for the wrong password. Permission denied, permission denied. Uh-uh, you didn't say the magic word. So that is a fun little Easter egg. So in the second room is the Velociraptor enclosure. So we have two Velociraptors right here. And if you listen, you can hear them making their noises. Can you hear them? Isn't that really cool? And right here is the other Velociraptor. This is very, very cool. You can pick up some enamel pins. So this is $11. There's this fun hoodie. This is a light hoodie. It's not a stereotypical heavy duty hoodie. And this hoodie is $55. There's also this line of Hawaiian themed Jurassic Park merchandise. So this says Jurassic World Universal Studios and has a T-Rex with some florals around it. And oh my gosh, this fabric is super light. This is one of the women's shirts. And this shirt is $35. I like this shirt. I think it's really pretty. And you can get a matching hairband. This hairband is $14. Here are some more of those fun Hawaiian themed Jurassic Park clothes. This t-shirt is $27. If you are a big, big fan of Jurassic Park, come here and you will get your fill of Jurassic Park merchandise. Oh, they also have some lounge flies. I'll show you those. They are really cute. So what's really cool about this backpack is if you open the backpack up, you see the T-Rex and the Jurassic Park Jeep. I think this is super cute. It's a nice size. And as you can see, it is a lounge fly. The inside of this backpack has the Jurassic Park logo as well as the Pop Funko logo. You could fit a lot in this bag and I think that this would be a really nice theme park bag to have. And let's see, how much is this? This is $82. Oh, in the back. has the mathemat mathematician on it. Life finds a way. You can also pick up a matching wallet. So it has T-Rex. I, I really like Jeff Goldblum's character in the Jurassic Park films. And this wallet is $55. So we are on our way to the visitor center now. There's a high voltage cage right here. 
the control room. I just, how much do you guys enjoy the amount of theming here? Oh my goodness. Guys, this is the old overground control room from the original movie. We got some Mr. DNA merchandise. This trucker's hat is $25. We've also got this t-shirt. Jurassic Geneticist. And this is $30. T-Rex. I was not expecting that. I like how the lights flicker because this is an abandoned part of the park. I'm hoping that the lightning will go off because we can see the T-Rex again. Also, there are a bunch of displays in this section that has screen use props. So, this is the Barbara Barbasol shaving cream can that they use in the movie. There's the Dino DNA. This is the exact hat that Alan Grant wore in Jurassic Park 3. This is the Amber Kane. And you can see that right there is the mosquito that they use to extract the dino DNA. Gosh, guys, I am geeking out right now. We've got the incubator right here. This right here is screen used Velociraptor eggs. There's, these are traditional Jurassic Park t-shirts. The men's or unisex is $28. And the women's, of course, is $30. Why? This is less fabric than this, and yet this is cheaper than this. Come on. It's the pink tax, guys. These are also some control panels from the... It's not from the movie, but the idea is that this area is overgrown. So I like how this control panel has... It's just filled with dirt. Also, is this blood? This looks like blood. Tad bit sketchy, but okay. And there's some plants around it. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even see this guy. It's one of the little baby dinosaurs. And you can hear him. I think that's really cute. Here's some more screen use props. This is the uh, shock rod. It's made out of rubber because it's for the stunt guys. And here's a gas grenade also used in the movies. Look at these. Oh, this old keyboard. the music that's playing in here. Oh my gosh, you can see the projector. They didn't really do a good job hiding it. So this projector is what screams the T-Rex right here. I could not have planned that better myself. Perfect timing. And now we are in the gentle giant section, and this is where the treats are. And look at the sky. We got ourselves a triceratops. And 
they make it look like you could feed them. Like, you know, when you were at Koi Pond and you can buy feed to feed the koi fish? They have that, but for a dino. That's so awesome. However, it is taped right here, so you can't actually feed the dino. Please respect all Jurassic creatures. Do not taunt, tease, or harass the animals. Dino food only. Do not feed the dinos human food. Which is very important because they do have human food right here at the tree outpost. They also have a dino chow section. And they have the dino food, which honestly just looks like dog food. An asset checklist. Three, Sagittarius, age five. Weight, 95.425 pounds. There's also the microchip number. Also, apparently dinosaurs can have allergies. This one does not, though. Oh, there's another one, too. So, the breed is an Ankylosaurus, age is seven. The weight is the weight is 11,436 pounds. The microchip number is 0923. Allergies, none. Conditions, none. The note is that she is a clever girl. And then we have a Triceratops here. So, Triceratops, age 6. Weight, 5,765 kilograms. No allergies. Condition is food poisoning. Oh, monitor for bracken poisoning from ferns out in zone three. So one of the trees is fossilized amber for seven dollars. You can see the mosquito from which you get dino DNA. Unfortunately, this isn't one that moves. In the past, for Halloween Horror Nights, they had a heart that beat. And for Mardi Gras, they had a skull that had the mouth open and closed. And then these are some treats. There are blue marshmallow pops. Vegan brownie bar. So if you are vegan or vegetarian, there is something here for you. Whoopie pies. That is a lot of blue. You will be dyed blue for the rest of the day if you buy one of these treats. A candied apple. Blue s'mores. Oreo cookie. That's a big cookie. That's the size of my face. We have some chocolate cupcakes. Jurassic World Dig Jar. That looks really good. Very chocolatey. Pistachio Pop with chocolate medallion. And then there's a bunch of fudge. So there's birthday cake, salted caramel, blue camo, lava flow fudge, chocolate peanut butter fudge, which is my favorite fudge, and chocolate fudge. So the apple's $12, marshmallows are six, cupcake is six, s'mores are $4.50, the dig jar is $12, the whoopie pie is $4.50, pistachio, an egg with chocolate medallion, that's six, jumbo Oreo cookie, that's also six, the vegan brownie bars are $4.50, Fudge is six for twenty, or if you just want one, it's four ninety-five. You can also get a chocolate egg with a dino inside, and that is eighteen dollars. There's the amber gummy that I showed you, that is seven dollars, and Dino Chow is fifteen. So these are the eggs, and as you can see, if you crack them open, you will get yourself a baby dinosaur.
also made out of chocolate. And the exit is themed as well. This statue right here is a screen used John Hammond statue as seen in Jurassic World. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. The amount of detail in the tribute store is unbelievable. My mind is just blown. I love getting to see all the screen used props from the movies. Just, there's nothing that beats that. And I love the amount of detail that goes into a temporary store here at Universal. I cannot wait to keep on coming back to see more and more tribute stores as the seasons move on. Yeah. I'm hoping that maybe later on to come back to the tribute store to try one of those treats. Okay, so now that we are done in the tribute store, let's continue on our roaring fun day and head over to Islands of Adventure where we will go on some rides, meet some dinos. It's gonna be a good day. So with us needing to go over to Islands of Adventure, I'm gonna show you where you can cross over without having to go all the way through City Walk. So right here's the globe, right there. If you turn yourself, as you can see, if you go that way, that is to Islands of Adventure. You don't actually have to go around. There is a pathway that you can take that goes straight to Islands of Adventure. And it is a much shorter walk than having to go all the way around City Walk. So we are heading into the island for Jurassic Park. Let's go into the dino store. See what fun Jurassic Park gifts you can get here. So we have a Velocicoaster t-shirt. This shirt is $27. I like the really pretty Tiffany blue. That's the trim. You can also pick up some fake fossils. This is $34.95. There's also child's t-shirts camp rule number one don't get eaten that's a good rule and the shirt is twenty dollars oh this one's cute dino expert this is 28 right here is amber earrings they are 123 dollars and amber is fossilized tree sap so first ride of the day is river adventure it's a 15 minute wait. So at the beginning of the line, there is a massive diorama of the park. This, the visitor center, Camp Jurassic, the Jeep Safari is right there. right here is for the helicopters. This is very, very cool. So there are lockers available for this ride. However, they are not the free lockers that you get with your annual pass. No. Instead, you do have to pay $4 to rent it for the hour that you will be on this ride. So that is unfortunate. I'm gonna have to bring my bag on a water ride. So hopefully my bag doesn't get too, too wet. Oh my gosh, the ride is so much fun. The river journey, when you first start out, you think you're going to get wet because there are little water spouts that go up before you get there. And you go, oh my gosh, when I get wet here. And as soon as the boat gets to the, get to the spout, the spout turns off. So you get a little tease in the beginning. And then once when the boat veers into the raptor enclosure, that's when you start to get a little wet. So those venomous carnivores that you see in the first movie that have the maze that sh come out and they spit at you, those are scattered around the raptor enclosure and they spit at you. So you get a tiny bit wet, it's almost like getting hit with a water gun. Then finally, you go down that big drop where you see that huge plume of water going over the boat and shockingly you don't get 
that wet with that drop. The front row gets soaked. But if you're behind the front row, you are not going to get that wet. I got like a little bit wet. The person in front of me was like six foot something and I'm 5'2". So he towered over me, protecting me from that massive wave. So I think it's a really fun ride. I 100% will go on it again and again. So next up is Camp Jurassic. This is the little kids area of the Jurassic Park section. So this looks like a nice little walking trail. Oh, it's really cool over here. Like temperature wise. I like how there are vines wrapped around everything. Like it's overgrown. Echo Cave. Echo! That's fun. Okay, so it looks like during normal times, there's like this ropes course where you can climb up on these nets and head over there, go over there. But this is not open right now. <laughs> that was nice and refreshing. There are quite a few slides up here. So there's this one. And then there's this one. This is very nice, very relaxing over here. So right now I'm on a bridge. Waterfalls. Okay, this is fun. Ooh, it is dark in here. Gosh, th there are so many branches in here. It's almost like Tom Sawyer's Island where you can easily get lost. This just keeps on going and going and go. Oh, sh <laughs> that little kid, kid scared me. <laughs> oh my gosh, where are we? Okay. It, it's like a massive cavern where we are right now. This is so pretty. Be sure to watch where you step because the ground is wet in here. Okay, we are officially out of that cavern. It was super cool. And it looks like we're going into another cave. So we're in the amber mine. So like the amber is glowing. This is super fun. Are there any insects in here? Oh, there's a big one right here. We must definitely get some dino DNA. Okay, so there are little dinosaur footprints. And apparently if you step on them, you can make dino noises. So there's a little one right here. Let's step on it. There's a big one right here. <laughs> that is super cool. Okay, there's a big one. <laughs> yeah, that was a kid's area. It was super fun exploring. I really liked the water section uh, in that cavern. 
where like the water spots went up. Super fun. And let's head out. So today at Islands of Adventure, Universal is currently filming the commercials for Velocicoaster. So Velocicoaster is closed except for a small amount of people that are going to be a part of the commercial. So as you could hear, there was someone on the Velocicoaster and he was screaming. It looks super smooth and exhilarating. I cannot wait for it to open. Also, they are filming the commercial in the Rapture Encounter. And again, if you look into the Rapture Encounter, you will see there are people in there and they are actors that will be trying to be scared when Blue jumps at them and stuff like that for the commercial. Here in the Jurassic Park area, there is Thunder Falls Terrace, which is a quick service, sit down quick service. This is their menu, rotisserie chicken, ribs, turkey legs, rice bowl, salads, beer and wine. So the last time I was here, I tried to eat there and I was all, see, uh, I was sitting down, I was looking at the menu and I had to get up and leave because I found out that everything on their menu has some form of citrus in it. So if you have a citrus allergy like I do, don't try to eat there. However, what I did notice is that there are a lot of healthy options at that location. So if you are not allergic to citrus fruits and you want to save within your diet, eat there. I also want to talk about how I constantly bring up Weight Watchers and that's because I am on that plan. I am not sponsored by Weight Watchers anyway. However, I would love for one day to be sponsored by Weight Watchers. So if you're watching this Weight Watchers, contact me. I would love to be one of your representatives. Okay, so I got the Jurassic Dig. It is chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. And boy, does it look good. How I tracked it was I typed in chocolate cupcake and I decided that two hostess cakes, which is 16 points, is probably about accurate for how many points this is. So let's give this a try. So let's dig on in here. Let's get the frosting and the cake together. It looks very moist. So the cake is super moist and the frosting is very thick. The whole thing is super indulgent. It's most definitely, would I say it's worth the points? No, you could honestly get a better chocolate cake from a grocery store than you can buying this. Okay, so this is as much as I could get myself to eat. It is so rich that it honestly kind of makes you start to feel a little sick. What a fun Jurassic filled day. I really enjoy the dinosaur day here at the tribute store. I thought it was super duper sweet. Um, Fair warning though, it is something that you should share with other people. Also, I really love the Jurassic River journey. I'm actually very shocked that you don't get soaked as that big wave makes it out today. I 100% plan on riding that again, again, and again. And I love Camp Jurassic, it's super cute. Fair warning, super easy to get lost in there. I ended up in the same cave like 10 times to try and find my way out. But it was fun to get lost. Today was such a relaxing day. And sometimes when you go into a music park, you shouldn't be rushing around. Sometimes you gotta take in the sights, take in the sounds. So be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Let me know which is your favorite Jurassic Park film. Mine is the original. It's a classic, you cannot beat it. 
also love the Jurassic World, but the original Jurassic Park is top notch. And be sure to hit the like button. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video. And with that, we are off. Thank you, oh, so very much with for meeting D-World with me.